Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. Welcome to Mert's Journal, where you know this isn't just about family history, it's about creating journals. We're working on ephemera to go into journals. We previously had dealt with this special kind of closure for this little pocket or envelope pocket. Uh, when last we met, I created this one. But now we're going to embellish it. People are actually asking me, how do you do all that, Mert? I don't know how I do it. But this is the closure we're going to do. We move these things out of the way. We're going to take some ribbon. This is just ordinary grow grain ribbon. And it kind of goes with this bright interior. Um, and we're going to glue it in place on the back side. And to cover up where we've glued it, let me try to make this um, equal. There we go. We will glue it in the middle and bring it around and, and tie it in the front. Um, I have a piece of cardstock from this same set and I've already inked around the edges. I'm going to be placing it there as um, to help ensure that this glue stays down. I will use my art glitter glue. And in addition to that, I'm going to put glue all over this little card. This is card stock, not paper stock. So I'm pretty confident it will hold it. Okay. Good. You could put it vertically or horizontally. I'm just sticking it there. And let's wallpaper it. Use my little wallpaper tool to help spread that glue so it won't be lumpy and it will help adhere on the surface. All right, it helps to figure out what you're planning to do for your closure before you do all the embellishment that might end up getting in the way. For instance, I know that I want to use these little handmade um, posies because it matches what's inside. And I would have normally just put them like in the middle or maybe slightly off center, but now I need to do it quite off center because of this coming around this ribbon. Okay, but before I even put down the posies, I'm thinking I'm going to go with it like this, this, and this, but I would like to see a little bit of this pretty lace going underneath beforehand. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can get it so that it's almost perfect. Little baby scissors. There we go. Hmm, these aren't very sharp, but they did the job. Okay, put that back with my other laces. All right, so I'm going to put a bead of glue. Let's see how we will do this. Oh, is there a good side or a bad side? You can tell I've been working. My fingers are dirty. There's no real good or bad side. So I'm going to put a bead of glue along here where I think it should go. And in a few places on the lace itself, I'm going to add some glue. This is hard to do because this is very fine lace. There's not a lot of places you can put the glue, but we'll hope for the best. You can always touch it up later if it, gets loose. Okay. Here we go. Place it right along that bead of glue. Looks like I'm going to be trimming slightly. All right. Let's get some sharper scissors. Oh, it's going up and down, up and down. Come on, old Mert. <laughs> there we go. 
sort of straight, sort of, theoretically, possibly. Oh, I don't mind if it goes over on the edge there. All right, so we've got the ribbon. It's going to work. Now we have to figure out placing these little guys. And I think that I will get some ordinary cheesecloth, place it down there, and then trim it slightly. Not too much, but just a little. Just add a little additional layer of interest. Not quite sure where I'll cut it, so we'll just do it this way. Yep, that's going to be good. Okay, now I'm thinking I want her there and this one there, kind of underneath a little, and this one there. I think that'll be kind of cute. See if it interferes with the closure slightly, so I have to move it down a little. That's okay. These are things we have to figure out. There. That's better. All right. So, we will now place glue on the back. There, I only put it in the middle. Hold that a second. A little bit of glue here. Now you could definitely use Fabric Fix or Fabric Tack for this. It doesn't dry as quickly, but um, it would do the job here. Yep, we're not in the way of that um, flap coming down. Okay, and then one more is going to go right under this little petal. <sighs> Got little bits of thread left and right here. So at first when I started doing this paper crafting stuff, um, whoops, we lost our little, um, our little bead. So let's go put that on. Little yellow half bead like a cabochon. All right. I don't want to trim too much of this, but maybe some. Oh, I don't know. I like that. Okay. All right. So how's this looking? Let's bring this up and over and we will tie our bow. I know that Bella the cat wants to come in and help, but she doesn't always put her paw in the right spot. And there's a contraindication for glue on cat fur. Okay, I didn't do that tight enough. Let's do this. I'm going to use this book weight that we use if we're wanting to keep two pages of a book open when it's inclined to stay closed. Okay, that'll help keep that down. All right, now it's too loose. All righty, it's okay doesn't close it perfectly, but it's okay. Now I'm going to leave this kind of long because it was hard for me to um, create a bow and I'm pretty used to doing it. And so once my grandchildren can actually come over and get into these little mini journals and pockets and things like that, um, they're going to have a hard time too. So I do save this ribbon you never know when you might need just a little touch of that color somewhere. But anyway, that's how I've decorated or embellished the outside of this particular journal. And I've crafted a different way to hold the journal closed or the envelope pocket. 
this may be the whole journal as far as I know. I, I haven't figured out which story, which ancestral story this will go with. I'm prepared uh, because this is in my stash now. And anytime I need something with bold colors like this, I'm set. I'm totally set. And I have the mix and match of the um, companion print of the paper. It's all good. All right. There's nothing left to say, but happy family tree climbing and journal making, everybody. That's a wrap.